did uh, Freemasonry um, influence you politically? Has Freemasonry influenced me politically? Well, sir, I have never allowed the answer to such a question any more than I have pronounced an answer upon such a supposition publicly. <laughs> and uh, I cannot think there has been any letter that I have ever written or will write in which I will publicly admit my association with that noble brotherhood, nor deny its charges most ancient and noble, venerable indeed, attended to by all the great monarchs of Europe, and charges and tenets that have existed from time immemorial. Do I find any cause uh, for a denial in that association? No. Do I find any cause for supposition that I might be allied with that, that uh, noble vocation? Yes. <laughs> but as you may know, it is, the, um, it is the prerogative of a brother to either let his identity be known or nay. So I hold by that prerogative, which is the same to speak one's opinion should they choose or to say nothing as well should they choose. I hope it may not be forgotten that the tenets and charges of Freemasonry are in their very essence to take a good man and to make him better. To take a society in order that the rough edges uh, might be eschewed and, uh, and might be reshapen so that the stone and the foundation of the principles of liberty, uh, the principles of all the world's great religions might be fulfilled for the greater good. Indeed, it is the greatest good for the greatest number. And uh, so therefore, to say that I should dare to deny those, uh, the essence of those tenants and charters would be uh, almost think distinctly then, should I, to deny uh, what makes man a noble creature. 